caught up in a world of gangs all trying to be the most notorious, the most feared, the ones in control. And they ain't with me, they against me, right? So what they got, I want. For the oldest gang in Oakland, the Nortenos, that means eliminating their enemies. The new Latino gangs, like the 9400 boys and the Border Brothers. You hear people talking about these Border Brothers coming up, feel me? Them ain't nothing but suckers, feel me? Border, burn burritos, whatever they is. This is Northern California. They don't come out here banging that True color bleeds. Any day, me or one of my friends could get killed, man. That's how it is right here. Anybody, anybody could get killed anytime. Right here in Oakland, man, it's crazy. You live your life thinking all the time that something is gonna happen to you. Like, destiny is, is a. Later, destiny means death for one of Javier's crew. But up next, the 9400 boys take a dangerous trip into enemy territory. And then, gangs take to the street for a dangerous night out. An Oakland tradition, the Sideshow. The streets of Oakland, California have become a war zone. A battleground encompassing an 11 square mile area within the city. A barrage of bullets shattered a West Oakland neighborhood overnight. So many that police actually ran out of those plastic markers. It is a gang war over turf and colors that has resulted in more than 100 murders this year. A number that keeps rising. The job of taking back the streets from the gangs falls to an army of just eight men. They are Oakland's gang unit, and today they are on the hunt for a suspected killer. His name is Francisco Hernandez, and he goes by the street nickname of Zapper. He's suspected of killing Susanna's brother, Marco. You know, when you walk down the block, you have to act like you own the block. You can't walk scared, because then they come and they bother you and they start asking you what color you claim. You really can't get out sometimes. Why is that? I don't know, but my brother was trying to get out. He wasn't trying to be another statistic. <laughs> Susanna's brother, Marco, was the victim. Marco wasn't in a gang but he was shot simply for wearing a gang color, red. In the city of Oakland, you feel like a prisoner if you can't wear red. I won't even wear red. I'm afraid of that color. You know, my parents have been, my family has been here for generations. We don't, we shouldn't have to move out of here. We should be able to walk down the street safe, but we can't anymore. It's gotten worse. Marco is murder number 103 in a bloody year for Oakland. For Officer Gerardo Malero, the hunt for Zapper is personal. The killing took place in his old neighborhood. And it was a Norteño neighborhood where I grew up. You know, I remember how hard my parents work, and they still do. And so when you're out here working, that's what I think about. It's like, okay, I'm working for people like my parents. You know, you think about for each person you arrest, all right, you know what, that's one less person that can rob a relative, you know, shoot them. So, you know, it's something that keeps you going. It's going to be one of these. Today, Malero and his partner are going to check out two addresses where Zapper's mother used to live, hoping to spot him. If you see that man, well, right behind him, there's a white door. And it appears to be in, in between two Vietnamese businesses. Well, that's the door we're looking at. And apparently we just had a female Hispanic enter that address. Is that her? That's her. It's a long shot. But a Hispanic woman tied to one of the addresses could know Zapper and could even be one of his relatives. She could be family, maybe a mom or something. That's a cool and a half. Huh? Behind the car, 
The woman turns into the second address the officers are scouting. So she's going to the... So, I mean, obviously there's a connection there. Those are the two addresses that we're looking at. What's the chances of that? Yeah, she walks out of one and walks into the other. Just had a female Hispanic exit one and walk into the other. So there's still a connection. There's still probably family living here. The two addresses are now on the gang unit radar, but a raid will have to wait. If we hit that house and he's not there, well, obviously the search warrant is going to read that we're looking for him for murder, so we don't want to do that. We don't want to let them know that we know about it. This is how the gang unit operates. They watch and wait for their chance to strike. Hey, Randy, is it cool if we stay They're here? careful because they know the gangs are not. For the gangs of Oakland, keeping a low profile is seen as a weakness. The mitre yeah. does to me. And the weak get preyed upon. Keep that dirty mitres out here. So they tag. We doing our homie. They post. We keep our lit. And they funk. Today, Javier and the rest of his crew are going out to do just that, to go funking. Street slang in Oakland for a risky game of chicken. In this case, they are going out for a ride in rival gang territory. From here to there, that's the 90s area. From here to there, that's the 80s. Norteño's turf begins in the 60s and stretches beyond the 30s, right where Javier and his crew are headed. If something happened to y'all, it ain't my fault. <laughs> Javier and his boys are not just cruising. Dressed in black, the color of their gang, this ride is meant to antagonize their rivals, the Norteños. And it makes them a target, so they have to keep moving no matter what. Uh -huh. Javier's van is overheating, but stopping anywhere in this neighborhood is not an option. It's too dangerous. He starts running stop signs and speed bumps, trying to find a safe block to pull over. There's no Daniel territory, you feel me? This is not our block. We from the nines. They found what they think is a safe haven deep in the rival gang's territory. My partner don't have the people right here, so it's good. But here, they could be killed simply for what they're wearing, colors of the wrong gang. If we broke down a couple of blocks away from over here, let's say like like seven more blocks, it would be some going on. Somebody could just pass by. Like them, they, like them people right there. Like them people right there. Like we don't know who the they are. A red car passes by, the color of the rival gang. And it looks like it's turning around. Uh, I think you should get in the, in the car. Who is coming now? Hey, Hector. I'm on us. Hurry up, Blake. That's good enough, bro. We out. Blake, what the f? Turn that way. They're gonna come back. The car seems to be coming back, heading back towards Javier and his crew. <laughs> The 9400 boys make a hasty retreat back to their home turf, back to the nines. But they've been seen. We know for, for sure that they're going to be back out here. Something's going to happen tonight because they saw us already and they're black. People try and shoot at us, we're going to take care of it. We got to do what we got to do, you know? This is the essence of gang life in Oakland, baiting your rivals to react. And after today's drive, the Norteños may make a call of their own. We in punks, man. Like, anybody trying to do harm us, that's for sure we gonna go and get them, man. Up next, the game doesn't stop behind bars. Gangs run deep inside Oakland's jail.